Hello, my name is Robert Hollis. I hope you're having a wonderful and blessed day. And today's title is, What Are You Looking Forward To in 2023? What are you looking forward to in 2023? So, you can get a copy of my best-selling book, How Is That Working? How Is That Working? Rat Race to Freedom. And uh, looking forward to getting started. There's Bill. Bill, thank you very much. I appreciate you. Hi, author. Hi, Mary. Great to have you on there again, Mary. Thank you so much for the, the wonderful gift. That was so cool. There's my son. Thank you, Matthew, for jumping on here. Craig, hi, Paul. How are you? Um, great to have you guys on here. Um, I don't think I could add, you, you know, Matt, if you wanted to, you could add that graphic. I don't know if it allows you to do that, but you could add, to add that graphic that you, uh, that you put. Hey, John. Hi, Melody. Hi, Peter. Great to have you guys on here. And uh, hi, Danielle. And it uh, looks like uh, we're all on here. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. My name is Robert Hollis. I hope you're having a wonderful and blessed day. And today's title is, What Are You Looking Forward To in 2023? What are you looking forward to? Um, you know, there's been a statement that I've said my whole life, you know, some people are talking about New Year's resolutions, you know, people talk about goals, uh, you know, I've read a number of books where it just says setting goals is not a good thing. It, it's just, how many goals have you guys set? How many New Year's resolutions have you set? And, and you just stop doing it. You stop doing it. You know, you get people that are constantly trying to set ranks or financial and you, you miss it all the time. You miss the goals. And let me tell you why. Um, you know, I talked about in a previous video this week, you know, preparing for 2023, is that it's easy to be motivated. It's so freaking easy to be motivated when you have something to look forward to. When you have something to look forward to. And let me explain, you could, you could introduce me to the laziest negative people on the planet. Negative people, lazy people, unmotivated people, and I can figure out what they like by asking them. And then secondly, I could put together money to make that happen. I don't care if it's a hunting trip, a fishing trip, uh, maybe... Um, you know, go to Disneyland, Disney World, maybe some kind of theme park someplace. Um, there, there would be something that I could find out about them and then create a vision for them. Vision inspires success in others now. For a lack of vision, people perish. And what I was trained to do is, again, tune into their radio station W I I F M, what's in it for me? And when you find out, you know, tuning into their radio station, tuning into their energy, and finding out what they like, and then helping them to put something together that they would look forward to. Do you guys following me? So the reason that people are not motivated, the reason that people don't do things is because they have nothing to look forward to. And no one ever took the time to sit down and throw out a little theoretical example of two getting two getting two. And um, it was funny, I was watching a video today of, of when Josh Wagle interviewed Terry and I uh, for hitting super affiliate. Uh, you know, you guys can post that in here too, Craig, or, or, or Matt if you want. But it was funny me watching that, and I thought, golly, I got to repost this, you know, and and um, you know, I, that's what I was saying, you know. I was like, Josh was asking me questions, and I was like, listen, I, I I'm looking forward, forward to. So I made a post today that some of you seen, you know, freedom is is not about uh, being free from something. It's free to be able to make a decision to do something you're looking forward to, right? So I'll give you an example. I used to say this to people all the time. I said, listen, I want you to pick three people and I'm gonna pay for everything. 
I'm going to pay for the air flights, the bus, the train, whatever you want to do. Because some people say I'm not flying, especially with Southwest. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe I threw that in there. But, oh, my God. You know what I mean? And, and uh, yeah, I can't get off track. I can't get off track. That's just horrible. They have 13,000 people's flights canceled. Oh, my God. So, anyway... The point I was talking is I'll pay for all the travel, I'll pay for all the food, I'll pay for all the lodging, and I'll play for all the excursions. So one, you got to pick out with a, a, a few other people, three, you know, and I'm going to pay for everything. Now, there's only, once you figure out where you're going and the excursions that you want to do, there's only one thing that, that, that I got to tell you is this vacation. You can't do all the excursions and really enjoy whatever place I'm going to send you, even if it was in the United States, like Yellowstone National Park or something. And you can't do that and do it in one day. So it's going to be for three weeks. Three weeks. And right away, people go, oh, God. I go, what? I'm paying for everything. I can't get three weeks off. I can't take three weeks off. Why? I can't. I'd lose my job. Ah, really? What do you mean, really? So you can't do what you love to do with the people that you love the most. You can't do those things because you don't have time. Somebody else is telling you what to do with your time. They're telling you when to show up. They're telling you when to take lunch, when you can take breaks, when you can go home. See, being free is not from something. It's the freedom, the freedom to do what you want to with the people that you want to do it with. And most people that you're really close friends with or like being around, you know, they might not be in the position to have the free time or the money as well. So you got to make enough money to be able to sort of take your posse or your entourage with you. You see what I mean? And that's when they're going to get a part of this. So again, a lot of people won't move forward unless they have something to look forward to. So I want each and every one of you to understand that that's what I'm, I, tell me what you're looking forward to in 2023. Because the next thing that you gotta do is you gotta get excited, emotionally excited, and live in the vision of that. So I got up this morning, cause I told you guys to do it, so I did it. I got up this morning, I listened to six phase meditation. Guess what, always on number four, the phase number four is you need to now emotionally put yourself in a position of where you're going to be three years from now. So three years from now, what is the design life that you have? You guys hear me? So there's a video that if you looked in, <laughs> I'm running, I'm running Craig and Matthew crazy right now. It's like, I appreciate Craig. I appreciate you so much, man. And, and Matthew as well. Um, but, you know, there's a video that I know that I did this year called Design Your Life. But it's design a perfect day. Design a perfect day. And then the goal is, is to live that perfect day. And then the other goal is how many of those perfect days can you put in a row? There's nothing... There's nothing in the world that I've experienced that's so stress-free, no stress. You're at peace of mind. You're joyous. You're merry. All the stuff that I've been talking about this last month is when you get up when you're done sleeping. You get up when you're done sleeping. And when I'm done sleeping and I get up, go to the bathroom, hop back into bed, and then I put on, you know, six phase meditation, not because of any other reason than I really don't have to get out of bed and do anything. I can always meditate at night 
and I can always meditate in the morning. Why? Because I don't have any appointments that I got to get up to and, and get up early and, and have a cup of coffee and, and take a shower and get on, get on transportation and drive to, to see. I don't, I don't have that. Can you imagine? Because you need to. Did you hear that? Can you imagine getting up like every day Saturday? <laughs> every day Saturday is like I get to stay up late if I want to. I, I get up in the morning when I want to. See, a lot of people unfortunately work on Saturday, don't they? Yeah. So I have to, if you want things to change, now, I'm going to do another thing that's going to really help you guys. Uh, I, I want to be able to share things with you guys. So my wife and I recently started watching a series of Jerry Seinfeld. And it's Jerry Seinfeld comedians uh, getting coffee, you know, in cars getting coffee. So you guys can, you know, post that up here. And it's amazing because Terry and I, what got me on this subject is Terry and I have watched, you know, person after person after person after person. And me and my son Matthew were talking this morning and it's like, uh, you know, people are asking Jerry Seinfeld, he's worth almost a billion dollars, you guys. 950 million. And, you know, the guy makes him and Larry David make between 40 and 70 million dollars a year from the reruns of Seinfeld. Do you guys realize that this guy, do you guys realize that this guy was a stand-up comedian? And I'm going to find out what he did and find an interview of him telling his story. But yesterday we watched him doing uh, 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 comedians getting car and cars getting coffee. We, I watched him with him and Jay Leno. And it really blew me away at the beginning of when he introduced Jay Leno. He said, this guy without a doubt, this guy without a doubt is the best comedian ever. And I'm like, you know, wow, you know, that, that's saying a lot. And then you find out that Jerry Seinfeld met Jay Leno and Jay Leno allowed him to come over to his house every day and teach him the stuff that Jay Leno knew on how to help Jerry Seinfeld. That's why Jerry Seinfeld has such an admiration for Jay Leno, because he helped him out. He showed him exactly every step to do. And what's one thing that Jerry Seinfeld did is Jay Leno said, you know, listen, Larry David, stand-up comedian, is don't take all the money up front. See, there's people that get a million dollar an episode or $10 million per movie or $40 million per movie. Take the back end. Take the back end. Just live on what you can afford to live on. Don't change your lifestyle. And so it, it, there's two different websites. So I don't know if it's 15% or 7%. Maybe it's 15 and they each split seven. But Larry David and, and Jerry Seinfeld you know, each gets 7% of all the merchandise, all the residual, all the everything. How many of you would like, so listen to this. How many stand-up comedians are there? Now answer this question. How many of them are worth 950 million? That is a pretty interesting thought. Because see, that's the difference of thinking long-term versus short-term. Short-term thinking would be, I need to sell product. I need to get as many products sold as I can. I got to sell, 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 sell product, sell, 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 sell product. And I got to find other people and sell product. See, that's somebody saying, how much are you going to give me? I need this amount of money up front 
and then just like a job, they get the money and they spend the money. Are you guys hearing me? There's another thought that I was taught. What if you had 30,000? What if you had 50,000 people? What if you had 758,000 people that were all active and they were buying product? They were buying product every single month. See, so people go into companies to get the upfront money and get the upfront money and get the upfront money and they're going from company to company to company to company, being distracted, 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 doing sabotage. Look at my video, sabotage. So now they'll find something wrong with the company and move on and they just keep doing this. When I was taught, it'll be in, in March, it'll be five years for me with MDC. And everyone would like to make the kind of money I make. Everyone would like to look forward to having freedom. They would like to look forward to being able to give to charity and do all kinds of things. They're just not in a long-term plan. <laughs> They're in a day-to-day -day plan, week-to-week -week plan, month-to-month -month plan, uh, company-to-company plan. <laughs> so I hope that helped you guys. So again, the title of this is what are you looking forward to in 2023? Right before I jumped on here, uh, Keston, there's a new guy that I met through uh, David. So I hope David sees this as well. But David Oliver introduced me to this young guy and he's, he's such an inspiration. And he's doing coaching and learn from Bob Proctor and, and Brendan Burchard. And you know, that's two people I've learned from. And he's in the coaching world and he's doing real estate, right? And I was sharing with him just the different mentalities on being a coach when only 1% of the people in the room, excuse me, only 1% of the people in the world want to listen and follow instructions from a coach. See, I switched the paradigm. See, there's, there's only a couple of percentage of all the people that will watch this video live or recorded that are willing to surrender and follow directions to do something. So I'd rather find someone that's open to learning a way to make a million a year. I'm not a millionaire. I'm a million a year. Residual income. What are you looking forward to? So that's the video. Uh, I was telling him that when I ask people, what are they looking forward to? Most people can't clearly define it. Most people cannot clearly define it in any way, shape or form. And then if you really got them to say that they could clearly define it, they have no game plan or plan to get there. Example, and then I'm going to quit. What I'm looking forward in 2023 is I'm looking forward to firing my boss. I'm looking forward to retiring my spouse. What's the magic number? What are you talking about? How much money do you have to have in the bank? And how much money do you have to make a month to make that happen? I, I, I don't know then how can you quit your job and how can you retire your spouse if you don't know what that number is? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I'll do it. I see here someone said, I commit to MLM program for 10 years. I I'm committed my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> so once you got that number, Eric put a number, 4,000. So that means that you would have to do 40,000 in volume. 40,000 in volume. Well, what's the average person do? 90. So 40,000, that would be, a, you know, 40,000 in volume. You divide that by 90. That's 444 people that you have to have, listen closely, 444 people that were using 90 points of products that they normally would have got from 
Walmart, Costco, Target, or Amazon. So all you need, all you need, Eric, is 445 people that would be willing, willing to say, you know, I, I, I wash my hair, let me try this shampoo. I got pets, you know, I, I'll, I'll take the pet treats. You know, I have heard, have heard really good stuff about, you know, the cosmetics or the skincare or the, you know, daily sprays or, or the HempWorks products. All I need to do is do that and then find two other people that can change their mindset to purchasing the products and then we need to do three things with them. One is we got to get their money back. We got to get them a return on their investment. Two, we got to make enough residual income for them to be able to buy the products they want for them and their family for free. Three, let's get them in profit. And then when we get them in profit, then let's uh, get them a rank advance. That's all we need to do. So I was sharing this with Corky, a, a, a friend of mine forever. And he was saying, you know, I, I want to make 25 grand a month. And I said, that's, that's 250K. 250K, let's divide that. And now you go out and you start finding people that want to use better quality products. We send them affiliate link. They try them free for 60 days. And then we teach that to do the same. So if Eric now knows that if he gets 445 people on subscription in her group, I got 45,000. So now if Eric really was looking forward to quitting his job, then how much time should Eric be spending on finding those 444 people? See, to me, that was every day I wasn't working. Every minute I wasn't working. I was working on my plan to get out of that, just like Jim Rowan said. You know, I, I'm going to work on my part-time fortune and I'm going to make that happen. Thank you, Peter. So there, I went pretty long, but what are you looking forward to? So if someone asks you, what are you looking forward to in 2023, 2024, 2025? What are you looking forward to? You better be able to say what you're looking forward to, and you better be able to do it with excitement, enthusiasm, and thesis, God within. Oh my God, I'm, I'm going to be a master affiliate. Master affiliate, yeah, I only need a, you know, five million in volume. Why five million in volume? What is that? Five million in volume divided by 90. That's only, that's only 55,000, 55,555. I got 45,000 now. I got to get off this video and start finding people that would like a lifestyle that other people dream about. I love you and I appreciate you. If I can do it, you can do it. And if no one's giving you permission to succeed and be fulfilled in life, let me be the first. My mentors did that for me. I want to do it for you. Take care. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.